can get it started, go ahead and bring it down to the mat. We're going to sit in a nice seated easy pose, so nice and comfy. Shoulders above the hips. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Lift your chest. Hands on your knees. Palms face up. Drop the chin. We're just going to take a second to connect with our breathing. So we need some nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Feel the diaphragm and ribs expand in all directions. On your next exhale, go ahead and close the lips. Give me a nice forced exhale through the nose. Nice warm exhale. Engaging that ujjayi breath. All right, give me one more here. And exhale. Get rid of anything you don't need, any negativity. Go ahead and lift the chin. Bring the hands, the fingertips behind the ears. We're going to exhale, bring the elbows together, look down, tuck the chin. And inhale, bring the elbows back, look towards the ceiling. Give me a couple more of those. Go at your own pace with your breath. Waking up the neck. One more. In. And out. Go ahead and raise the head. Drop the hands to the side. Inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, bring them down. Pot of palm, fingertips to the floor. Inhale up. This time when we exhale, we're gonna twist towards the right. Bring that right hand behind, the left hand out front. Inhale, bring the hands back up. Exhale, turn to the other side. Me one more on each side, so inhale up. Exhale, twist towards the right. Inhale up, exhale and twist towards the left. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, hands come down. Go ahead and bring those hands out in front of you. We're gonna go ahead and do a few cat cows. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Go ahead and inhale, round through the back. And exhale, drop the belly, look towards the ceiling, wrap those shoulders down the back. Give me a few more, again, with your breath. Push the tops of those feet into the mat. One more, inhale. And inhale to find a nice flat back, neutral spine. Go ahead and stay here. We're going to do a few neck rolls. So this is a time to experiment with what feels good to you. Roll your neck out side to side in circles, reverse directions. See what your body needs. Get rid of any tension in that neck. Right. We're going to move on to shoulder circles. So hands are going to stay where they are. Your shoulders are going to move in a circle around and above your wrists. So this should feel good. Make sure you don't experience any pain. If you do, please don't move quite as far. Go ahead and reverse directions. Getting some motion and movement into those wrists. Nice and gentle. Right. A few circles each way. You can shift your weight side to side, forward and back. Whatever feels good. 
Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and flip those hands around. So externally rotate those hands so the fingers point back towards your knees. If this is enough stretch for you, great, stay here. If it's too much, you can lean your shoulders forward a little bit to ease that stretch. Otherwise, again, play with it. Go in circles, move side to side, see what your body needs, what feels good. You know, a lot of us type or write all day, so this is a great one for that. Make sure you reverse directions. Get nice and even. All right, go ahead and untwist those hands. Fingertips point towards the top of the mat again, directly under the shoulders. And we're gonna go ahead um, and bring those knees out wide, sitting into similar to a child's pose, but your elbows are gonna be down on the mat. Your hands are gonna be lifted. And you're gonna bring that forehead to the floor. Feel a nice opening sensation into the back of the triceps and a little bit into your chest as well. So go ahead and breathe. Just take a few deep breaths in and out here. Every exhale, we sink a little bit deeper into that stretch. Hands can be vertical or you can bring them over your head, whatever is comfortable. One more breath cycle here, so in and out. On your next inhale, go ahead and lift up out of that. Hands under the shoulders, back into our tabletop position. And you're gonna exhale, tuck the toes, hike the hips into your first downward dog. So externally rotate those hands just a little bit. Look towards your belly, slight bend in the knees. Again, since this is our first stretch here, go ahead and walk those feet out, bending one knee, pushing the opposite heel into the floor, feeling what feels good with you, stretching what you need to. Try and push that chest towards the floor. All right, on your next inhale, we're gonna bring the knees down towards the mat, not touching. And on your exhale, you're gonna walk those feet forward to the top of the mat, toes together, heels slightly apart, into your forward fold. So hang here, release through your back. You can ragdoll back and forth, so hold on to each elbow. Sway if that feels good. Walk your hands side to side on the floor. Just getting some nice release. Play around with it. Explore how your body feels. All right, we're gonna start with a few sun salutations. So on your next inhale, we're gonna go to half lift, hands on the shins or thighs. And exhale, hands back down into forward fold. Inhale, come up to extended mountain, hands above the head, look towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Bring those hands down to the floor, step it back to your plank. We're gonna exhale, chaturanga on your knees or toes. And inhale into baby cobra. So just gently lifting that chest, off of the mat, go ahead and squeeze into the glutes, hold it here for a few breaths. On your next exhale, or your next exhale, go ahead and bring the chest down towards the mat, hands under the shoulders, inhale, lift back up, exhale, lower back down, inhale, back up, each lift, you're coming a little bit higher, warming into the back. 
getting ready for our upward dog for our next sun salutation. So give me one more, inhale up. And on your next exhale, tuck the toes, peg the hips, downward dog. Give me two more breaths here. On your next inhale, go ahead and lift that left leg. Exhale, bend that knee, open through that left hip. Push that left shoulder down towards the floor so we're not lifting and coming unstable. So feel and focus on that nice sensation of stretching in that right hip flexor. After sitting all day, that should be feeling amazing. On your next inhale, go ahead and straighten that leg, square the hips. Exhale, go ahead and pull that knee to your nose. Step it through between those hands. And we're going to hold it here in our little lunge. So now we're stretching into the right hip flexor. If it feels good to pulse that back knee up and down, maybe shift your weight back and forth, please do so. Okay, go ahead and give me one more inhale. And on your exhale, you're going to step that right foot forward to meet the left foot into your forward fold. We're going to go through that again, the other side this time. Go ahead and inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, extend the mountain, look towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step those feet back into your plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale into your upward facing dog. So untuck those toes, shoulders away from the ears. And then exhale, tuck the toes into our downward dog. Give me three nice breaths here. Squeeze into that core, stretch into the back of the leg. All right, next inhale, lift that right leg. Exhale, bend that knee, open through that right hip. With every exhale, maybe drop that right foot down and back just a little further to stretch a little bit more into the front of the hip. On your next inhale, go ahead and straighten that leg, square the hips. Exhale, bring that knee to your nose. Step it through gently between those hands. Low lunge. Again, shifting that weight around, see what feels good on that left hip. Might be a little bit different than what you felt on your right side. Totally fine. One more breath cycle here. In. And out. One more inhale. Exhale, bring those feet together, step towards the top of your mat, forward fold. All right, we're going to go ahead and inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to extend the mountain. This time we're going to exhale and sit into a chair squat. Hands up, namaste, at heart center in prayer. And hold it here. Okay, 
As you exhale, sit into it a little bit deeper. Weight in those heels. Give me one more inhale. Exhale, bring the left elbow to the right thigh. Push those hands together, lifting through that chest, looking up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're not lifting that left leg or that left hip. On your next inhale, go ahead and bring it back to center. Sit into your chair, squat a little bit deeper. We may have stood up a little bit, come a little higher as our legs get fatigued. But stick with it. One more inhale, and we're gonna exhale and rotate towards the opposite side. So right elbow towards the left knee, or left thigh. Push into those hands to open the chest and look towards the ceiling. Again, make sure you're not lifting that, that right foot. Our weight is nice and evenly distributed into those feet. On your next inhale, go ahead and untwist. Exhale, come into your forward fold. Release through those legs. And bend those knees a little bit, walk it out, shake it out. All right, we're going to go ahead and go to the leg spread wide pose. So go ahead and walk those feet out wider than your mat. Slight bend in the knees and just fold forward. So maybe your hands are on your thighs or your shins or on the floor. Just make sure you're getting that nice stretch through the back of the legs. Make sure it's not painful. We do no harm to our bodies in yoga. With every exhale, you're sinking a little bit lower, bringing that chest a little bit closer towards the floor. And with every inhale, we create space. So for here, we're creating some extra space in our spine and through the back of the legs on our inhales. All right, go ahead and roll the body up. That torso comes up to standing in mountain in Tadasana. So go ahead, stand here for a moment, check in with yourself, see how your body's feeling and doing with these stretches, with these poses. All right, go ahead and inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, we're going to stand into our tree pose. So you've got those various different options. Maybe your toes are on the floor. We're going to start with our right leg. So our right knee is pointing out. So get into one of those three different places. And we're going to hold and balance here. Keep that core tight. That standing leg is having a slight bend in the knee. That'll help with our stability. On your next inhale, go ahead and bring the hands up. Exhale, you're going to bring your branches out. Palms face towards the sky. Shoulders wrap down the back. Chest is nice and lifted. On your next inhale, I want your hands to come up. Release that right leg, but keep that knee lifted, bring it in towards the chest. Exhale, slight bend in the left knee. We're going to wrap the right leg over top into eagle. And your right hand is going to come under, and we're going to wrap into our full eagle. Remember to keep that bend in that left leg, hips and shoulders square. Find your drifty. Find your point of focus. Push those elbows away from the chest to open through the upper back. 
Make sure your chest is nice and open. All right, we're gonna inhale, start to unravel. Hands come up towards the ceiling. Knee comes in. And exhale, start to bend that left leg, bringing the right leg behind into a warrior one. Make sure that core is engaged. Push those hips forward a little bit. On your next exhale, go ahead and open to warrior two. Adjust that back foot so your toes point away. Gaze through that middle left finger. Go ahead and come up out of it. We're going to go into our Tadasana. So our mountain pose, stand here for a second. Anything that happened on our left side, shake it out, forget about it. We're moving on to the right side. We're going to go ahead and bring those feet out wide again, going back into that wide-legged straddle stretch. So fold over at the hips. Let your hands fall where they do naturally. Or under the shoulders on the floor, shins or thighs. Focus on creating space in the spine and through the back of the leg. On your inhales. Your exhale, you're sinking a little bit deeper into that stretch. Okay, begin to heel toe those feet in towards your mat and roll yourself up. We're going to inhale into extended mountain. Our left foot's going to come up this time for our tree pose. And exhale, bring those hands down to namaste. Make sure your foot is not pushing onto the inside of your knee. It's either on your thigh, your ankle, or the inside of your calf. On your next inhale, go ahead and bring the hands up. Exhale. Add your branches to your tree. Open the chest and lift towards the sky. Awesome stability. You are very stable today. <laughs> this side. <laughs> to your good side. All right, inhale, bring the hands up. Release that left leg, lift the right knee towards the chest, slight bend in the right leg. Go ahead and begin to wrap it into your eagle. Our left arm is gonna come under this time. Shoulders and hips square. Push the elbows away from the chest. That core nice and tight. And bend that right leg. One more exhale. On your inhale, begin to unwrap, bring the hands up, left knee comes up. Slowly begin to bend into your right leg, step the left leg back into your warrior one. Adjust those toes as needed. Scoop the hips forward. Front knee over the ankle. Exhale into warrior two. So rotate that back foot, 90 degree angle with the mat. Gazing through that right middle finger.
Right, go ahead and push off that back leg. We're gonna come into our Tadasana, our mountain. Check in with yourself. Roll those shoulders out. Go ahead and inhale up. Look towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your hands to your mat and inhale. And exhale, step it back into your downward facing dog. We're going to do a, uh, a pigeon pose on each side. And then we are going to end with a quick shavasana. So go ahead and lift that left leg. Go ahead and pull that knee in through, setting the outside of the calf on the floor. That left glute comes down. Wiggle the back of the right toes to pull that leg back a little further. Whew. Feel that nice glute stretch on the left side. Nice hip opener on the right side. The back of the left thigh should be on the floor. If it doesn't reach, that's fine. Grab a mat or a towel or something to tuck under your left hip for some support. Go ahead and inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, hands come forward. Bending down towards the floor. So only go as far as what feel, feels comfortable. If you're staying with your torso upright, totally fine. Your hands can come under your shoulders if that feels good. You can ball your hands into a fist and set your forehead on it as an option as well. Or bring your forehead down to the mat, hands out front. So we have options for everyone. Be sure to pay attention to what your body needs. Maybe it doesn't need to come all the way down here. Maybe that's painful. Don't so that. Just do what your body needs. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next inhale, begin to walk those hands up under the shoulders. Shift the weight, tuck the back toes, and we're going to come back into our downward facing dog. This will be our last one of the day, so cherish it. One more breath here. Go ahead and inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, pull it through into your pigeon, bringing your right glute towards the floor. Wiggle those left toes back. Your shin does not need to be parallel with the front of the mat. If this is a good enough stretch, great. Lift up through the chest. On your next inhale, option to bring the hands up. And exhale, fold forward to wherever it's comfortable for you. One more inhale and exhale here. On your next inhale, begin to walk yourself back upright. Go ahead and swing that left leg around front. Both feet should be out front. We're going to roll our upper bodies down towards the mat for three, two, and one. Straighten those legs. We're going to do a quick savasana, a quick meditation in corpse pose here. So let those toes fall slightly outward if that's what's comfortable. Palms towards the ceiling. Bring those shoulders away from the ears. Close your eyes. Sink into the floor.
thinking nice, quiet thoughts. Inhale positivity and exhale negativity. Anything you don't need. Let those thoughts come and pass. Quieting the mind. Unclench your jaw. Release any tension in your neck. That with every muscle from the crown of your head to the tip of your toes. More time to decompress, de stress. Take a quick second to thank yourself for allowing yourself to have this time. To stretch, to take care of your body, to take care of your mind. And flutter those eyes open. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle those toes. Beginning to come back. When you're ready, you can go ahead and start to pull yourself up to a seated position, nice and slow, no rush. Bring it to a nice seated, easy pose. Go ahead and drop one ear to one shoulder. Tuck the chin, roll the head forward, other side. And the other side. One more. Bring it back to center and look forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. I will see you maybe tomorrow. Maybe Thursday. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, awesome. Perfect. I'll see you then. Take care.